Bazaar here in uh, Chiang Mai. You know, we're safely here, obviously. But, uh, we've been walking around late at night trying to see, yeah, you know, get some food, get something to drink, and listen to Waltzing Matilda in the background, apparently. Uh, so far, so cool. Sad cats at the cat cafe. Just let me out. Just arrived, I hate me. <laughs> Here we are at Hope Home. This is our base for the next three days. So this is Hope Home which is based outside Chiang Mai here in northern Thailand. And in the background, the other kids are busy taking part in a traditional ceremony around the, uh, the new year. And uh, we've been taking photos and doing lots of video. Hope Home is a charity for disabled children, uh, which has been set up here in Chiang Mai. At the moment, uh, they can take a maximum of seven kids they're hoping uh, to be properly registered and then they can take uh, up to 20 kids in a day uh, looking after them giving them physiotherapy and generally just making their lives better i'm here with uh, amos who is uh, covered in paint it is uh, also coming up to food time here in the background
Judy Cook. I was the founder and the manager of Hope Home here in Chiang Mai, northern Thailand, for Hope Home. Hope Home is a foster care home for children with special needs who have either been or relinquished by their families um, or are genuine orphans. And we commit to taking care for them until they are either able to return to their own families or to um, a long-term foster care situation with Thai families or to um, adoptive families which might be in Thailand and might be abroad. That's our main, one of our main focuses is, is residential care of which we have seven children, two of whom you can see here. And then we also offer respite care to families and communities so that we can try and stop families giving up their children because they can't cope or because they don't know where to get help and so we try and offer encouragement, visit them, help financially where it's needed but mainly we help in practical ways so that we offer like look after their children when they have to go to work or things like that. Aims at the moment and that I would like to see the future of Hope Home is that we're more risk by care with families and less residential care. Do you need a barrel? Oh yes! No, when I was at IMC, when they were there. Yeah. Oh, that makes me. No, Jane was there. Yeah, exactly. I thought you were very little. I was very small. <laughs> well, now I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been a great day and it's been amazing to see little Tyler running around and really having the time of his life. I think that if Hope Home wasn't here, his life would look very different. The whole point of trips like this is to document the work uh, that these charities do so that people back in the UK can give money to support what they do. And uh, sometimes you see those videos on your Facebook feed or uh, online and you think, uh, sure, whatever, it's another sad or happy smiling kid in a faraway place. But uh, when you're here and you see what a difference these guys make and what joy they bring to people's lives and uh, how much they help, you can see why the money you give makes such a big difference. Here for uh, about three years now. Um, here, my primary role is 
in regards to the children's development and education. So setting up anything that can help the kids reach their fullest potential that will prepare them to live in a family or uh, just to become the best that they possibly can be. Um, I'm also a foster mom to Phil. Uh, which I'm able to do with the support of Hope Home and helping um, with the therapies and everything that he needs um, in the system with the doctors, etc. Uh, thank you for all the support that uh, helps us do what we're able to do and um, just makes this place what it is uh, to us and to all of the kids. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for the support that helps us do She's got this. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So he understands pretty much everything that's going on, specifically within relationships and in conversation. So I think he has abilities and a future beyond what we can imagine. Afternoon here at Hope Home. And it's nap time. Maybe not nap time for the adults, but definitely nap time for the kids. You can see Natalie, she's wide awake. But next to me is Amos, who is fast asleep despite all the attention he's getting, despite all the noise in the background, which frankly is something which never happened in my own house. So one of the tricks to obviously lighting a subject is obviously put them in the right light. But if you don't have the right light, then get a reflector, because that makes all the difference. And look at the job that Jake is doing. What do you know how to play? That'd be a start. Oh. Kate Chapman, how are you going now? It's Tom Petty. Free falling. Free falling. Hey, so it's the end of um, day two of filming here at Hope Home, and we are just chilling on the world's uh, squeakiest uh, swings. I was going to say slide. This is not a slide. This is a swing. A swing desperately in need of WD-40 or oil. And while we're swinging, in the background, you can hear Jacob Barrel serenading us with his smooth guitar stylings. Oh, I'd say about the name of the name, but I know it. Is it that? Yeah. Hero by Enrique Iglesias. Of course it's Enrique. Can you do any Metallica? No. Okay. He's more going Um, Pantera? Does Judy know? No. Don't think so. Can you do Prodigy? Um, what about Skrillex? We've already done that. This is what a man who has discovered his second wind does look like. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, go and go in that way. Just walk that way. <laughs> This is going to look amazing. You need to take cues from Alex as to how to walk because it's like you got a roll of carpet under each arm, Sarah. I had some thin rolls of carpet you've got there. Okay, I'm going to slow down and you just carry on walking past me. Keep going, keep oh, going. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't help me about that. <laughs> This is, this is magical. These gardens are beautiful. Have you game hide and seek in here? Who said that? How nice is this?
Okay, here we are on our final day of shooting at Hope Home. Uh, and actually we've come down to the church where the kids come and uh, integrate with the congregation. And uh, so we're gonna hang around here, get some shots here and, uh, and see what it's like. Why you make a video? On a Sunday, Judy and Becca bring the kids from Hope Home down to St. Tessic Church, which is behind me. It's the Church of Christ here in uh, Thailand. Another gorgeous uh, hot uh, day here in Thailand. 29 degrees, 30 degrees, you know, Celsius, the real temperature. And uh, we're here at a charity called CAM, which uh, looks after people with HIV. And uh, we're about to go inside and hear their stories. UK BMS Sarah, if you could explain why we've come back to the church, please. We've got a really important piece of equipment, my notebook with some great literary gems in there. So we've come back, it's worth all of us being here. I don't think anyone's sad about it at all. We're not sad at all. There's always one. And it's always Sarah. <laughs> That's really close to my face. Because Sarah obviously has the most amount of equipment out of all of us. So when we're packing up, she had the most number of cases. Her belly case was full. Yeah. <laughs> how, how many bags do we have, Jake? Is it three, uh, four? No, one, two, four. four five, including five. Oscar. Yeah, five. How many you I, have? I have a lot of bags and a lot of emotional baggage too. So. <laughs> I have one bag, but it contains a lot of things. A lot of um, boost bars. <laughs> yes, I love boost. It's just boost bars and a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> and you and you left the notebook. The cake, then parachute, and all the shots that go with that. I think that Hope Home has really helped me see disabled children in a new frame of mind. I've never actually interacted with any disabled children before and this was the first opportunity I had to go and see different disabilities and children especially with disabilities. Uh, the only interaction I've ever had with disabled children has been quite quite violent in terms of um, when they're a bit older and teenagers, kids can be quite strong and so I was a bit nervous coming. But I have been so, so blessed to be in such a safe and beautiful environment where kids can grow and learn and smile and play and just be... I, I don't think there's any difference between these guys and any other child. They are just incredible and have such hearts for you and everyone around them. It's been such a joy to be. Really um, grateful for BMS coming out to film here at Hope Home and to the film crew to giving us their time and effort. And thank you for being very patient with our children who have not always been the most cooperative. Uh, but we really appreciate what you've done and look forward to seeing the final product. 
the kids here have been absolutely adorable. It's going to be sad to leave some of them. I spent a lot of time with a seven-month-old called Amos, and uh, he was just, he was just adorable. Our final shot in Thailand, the obligatory sunset shot. Sunset. Our final shot in Thailand. The final shot in Thailand, the obligatory sunset shot. Uh, once this is done, that's a wrap. Time to say goodbye. Oh, good man. Bye-bye, Nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.